Good morning. I look exhausted. So, I am still in Melbourne. It is a new week. I am freaking vibing the week. I'm flying out today at 5 p.m. So I need to be at the airport about 3.34. I am starting the video off with fresh hair. That is a first. Three videos in and the first time I'm starting the week with fresh hair. <laughs> so last week I did hit a low weigh-in. I am now six weeks and five days out from my first show. Vibes are high. Rob is in Vegas. Taylor, his client, just went second in the world. That is insane. So it's super motivating to me knowing that my coach is coaching someone who could just came second in the world. Like, Anyway, today's plan. I already went and saw Mila, said goodbye to her. Fuck, I hate the fresh hair feeling. Oh my God. So, went and saw Mila, said goodbye to her. Got to go to the gym. Went into Tucky's Bakery. My favorite cafe. Reminds me of just, it just makes me so wholesome going there, okay? So, got a coffee, had breakfast. Gonna go train now, do a lower body session and my cardio. Come home, finalize packing because I need to pretty much pack up my childhood bedroom, which is extremely emotional, a lot more emotional than I actually thought it was going to be. Pack up all of that, put it all away, uh, pack it all away, put it all away. What the fuck? One sec. Cannot function without coffee. Yep. And then I'm home tonight with Alex. I don't know if Olive is going to be home. She stayed at my in-laws. But I just wanted to come and say happy Monday. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. Thank you for coming back. If you've come back, if you're new here, hello. My name is Georgia. I am 25 years old and I am six weeks and five days out from my first bodybuilding show. I'm currently freezing my titties off in Melbourne. Woo-woo! Side of the shadows If you jump then I'll follow Sirens scream in the night Wait too long oh, oh. It hits my brain and I start to bleed it blood My veins, the pressure is out of my It leaves me faded, I can't explain it Feel good for a turn walks she is getting some free time off the lead she has been pulling me non-stop this walk um yeah so i'm back home i feel good i feel i feel like i'm home and it feels so nice to be getting back into routine today is my client check-in day so i do spend a lot of time at the desk today which <clears throat> isn't ideal because the weather is insane it's actually it's actually going to be 22 today I am dressed like I am in Melbourne. I'm also in prep, so I also do feel the cold quite easily. Um, but I'm just, I'm just happy to be home. So it feels good. I don't know what else to say except I'm home and I'm happy. And she was wrapped to see me. She was, even though she won't admit it. <laughs> How can she admit it? But even though she won't show it, she was very excited to come home. So yeah. Happy Tuesday, guys. I am literally in the process of making breakfast. Like, I haven't even... I've just put the oats in the bowl. Just sort of come and say, clean out your underwear drawer. I did it today for the first time in a year. So, I did it when I first moved into this apartment. Wow. There are things in there that I was like... That, yeah. Clean out your underwear drawer. It's so satisfying as well. New underwear. What a win. That's my little random PSA. I'm thinking I'm going to actually try and show all my meals today. I don't know if, how I'm going to do that, if I'm going to talk through them. I'm definitely not going to show me cooking them because that's annoying. 
but I definitely can show them because we're six weeks and five days out and I'm nervous as fuck but I'm excited so I will try and show all my meals today sitting in the sun be comfy be comfy I'm comfy so comfy so I am still in the gym I have got I have I have got here. I have been here for about, I want to say I got here at 10.30. It's now 10 to 1. <laughs> so I've trained, I've done cardio, I've posed. I'm sitting in here for half an hour. Um, and then I will go home, go to the supermarket, do our weekly shop because we have literally zero food in the house. Like, zero food in the house. <laughs> And then I am literally on the laptop all day doing client check-ins. So I generally start check-ins at one, but the closer I get to show, I do need to incorporate posing. And I like to do it straight after a training session and cardio because my body is a little bit fatigued. So it helps me with being able, when I am on stage, to hold poses and yeah, just essentially to be able to hold poses and be used to that feeling. So check-ins do kind of get pushed back a little bit um on just to just today like get yeah, don't know why i'm trying to justify it. that's just my routine that's just what happens my clients know all about it um but yes my posing session today i didn't love i don't have a posing coach i cannot get in with a posing coach they are literally all booked out for season b the ones that i would go to so i am getting in with one i was gonna try and get in with one on thursday this week she had just a cancellation couldn't get in because i have to work um at my casual job and then i did get in with one like in september which is a while away and i'm now meant to be in melbourne that weekend so i think it's just going to be a lot of practicing on my own a lot of critiquing on my own a lot of bouncing back and forth with rob i may try and find someone else I'm sure there's plenty of coaches out there who like posing coaches out there who can help me. I know how to pose. I did do a lot of it last year with um, Donna. Did a lot of lessons. So I should be okay. But at the moment, that's what's stressing me out the most that I don't have a posing coach to kind of be like, your posing sucks or your posing's good. I don't know. I just need to trust that my dancing history. <laughs> will prevail and help me don't know but anyway i'm gonna be in here now for 30 more minutes probably not probably not that long i'm getting a bit hungry so we'll see how long it lasts but i will show you my next meal okay so this is meal two i have chicken there's a lot of spinach under there mushroom veg i normally have green beans but i forgot to get them at supermarket and kimchi yeah I actually really enjoy this meal. Kimchi is a new addition for me and I don't travel with it. Like it's a big size bowl. Um, but it's really good for gut health and I just genuinely love the taste of it. And the dog is where we left her, still sleeping. So this will be meal two. I have this exact same meal twice. So I have it for meal two and three. And then I'll have my dinner and then I'll have my snack. So I won't show this again, but I do eat this exact same thing twice. All right, so this is dinner. It is 10 to 8. Alex isn't home yet from soccer, so I tried waiting, got impatient. My meat is still very rare, but I don't care. I'm eating. <laughs> Broccoli, spinach, pumpkin, rump steak. Alex has a scotch fillet. He has rice cooking, his lunch cooking, and I am going to eat this now and enjoy. Here it is, my final meal of the day. I'm watching Harry Potter. So I have yogurt, strawberries, extra crunch, cinnamon, and some sugar free syrup. And then I will have a hot chocolate maybe in like 30 minutes or so. And that'll be me done for the day. But this is probably my favorite meal of the day. It's delicious. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's like Friday in the morning. It is 20 past 8 and I have 
view is just going up. I am not feeling amazing. I'm so I'm tired. I'm just not vibing the day. My weight's vibed up. Which just weighing out milk. So my weight's spiked up, which is I'm not worried about the weight spiking up vibe. I've just lost my period, my body's kind of stressed out, I'm sick still, but it's just like, am I going to be fucking ready? Like, oh. On Saturday I will be six weeks out. Physio at 9 30, so I'm gonna probably skip my morning walk and go for a big walk later this afternoon. I just. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm not feeling myself today. It's okay. I'm the only human. But I just. When you hyper fix, hyper focus, not hyper fix it. When you hyper focus on that goal for so long, it becomes your life. And I feel like so much right now is out of my control, but so much is also in my control. It just becomes exhausting at some point. And I think I've hit that point. It's exhausting. Got my calories back today. They are dropping. Okay, I'm back. It is now like 20 minutes later. And I was just like reflecting on like my morning and just my week. And I was not happy with the energy I gave off in the last clip. So. I am back. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I, yes, I'm struggling. Yes, right now, putting on a brave face to be like my usual perky Georgia self. But I need to be grateful and I need to be grateful that I have my home, my dog, my fiance. The weather is incredible and I'm just sat in the sun, direct sun, no phone, with my coffee for like 15 minutes and it helped. So if you're having a bad day, try and get out in the sun. I do know that most of my people who watch my videos are in Melbourne and the weather there is crap. There is no sun. I am blessed in Sydney. So just take some time, even if it's not in the sun, just take some time to just sit alone without any distractions and just reflect and find what you're grateful for and roll with that. Because yes, it's okay to have bad days, but I'm also very, very fortunate and I'm very lucky. So just wanted to come on and shift the tone because I was Debbie Downer in the last one and I don't want to be that person. And it's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I spoke to my coach. I have a plan. I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. I am fine. <laughs> So I've just finished at the Fusio. I'm literally in a 7-Eleven petrol station. If you know me, this like fucking burns me. But guys, it's actually good. Like better than I want to say 95% of coffees that I've bought this prep. Long blacks are hard to get right, but this is right. And I actually just texted Tabby to go and get this because... We are both coffee snobs and we are both struggling. And I'm currently looking at this dog that looks exactly like Olive, but they're so cute. Anyway, so I am tired today. Oh, it's so good. Long back with two equals, delicious. I also got the Pepsi Max, the lemon, and I'm excited to try it. So I'm gonna try it with lunch and I'm gonna review it per request of Tabby, so stay tuned apparently it's delicious if i like it i will probably become addicted to it anyway i'm just just here to tell you that my 7-eleven coffee has not disappointed me and it was three dollars and it is like it's the size up from a large i think it's like looking for the ounces i think it's 20 ounces 15 no 15 is a small one down i don't know it's a big cup okay it's delicious Anyway, I'm heading to the gym now to do a lower body session. I really wish I could show you this dog, but the guy is there. Picture Olive with a really white chest and a white like stripe. So cute and so well behaved. 
but I just need to take a moment and not drive for a second. Enjoy this coffee. It's about a half an hour-ish drive, a little bit more. And yeah. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's super. There you go. If you come to level and get the super. So I turns out ended up having a really good day today it was just a really poor start to my day it is currently 6 30 and i am walking to i'm walking back into a little park where i normally walk there's a pub there and we're actually going to the trivia night which is super random for us like our friendship group that is very random but the boys suggested it and we are going i think it's actually going to be really fun so i've got all my meals prepped with me I put jeans on because I, at, at the moment, any chance I get to not wear leggings, I take it. I'm over wearing leggings. <laughs> In saying, I, it's all I'm probably going to pack when I like travel and stuff like that. But at the moment, it's jeans for me. Anyway, so yeah, today actually turned out really well. I had probably the best lower body session I've had in months. I... I am behind on my steps, but I worked a shit ton um, and I just feel good. Like I feel positive at the moment. I did a fake tan, fake tan always helps. And yeah, I just wanted to come in and say the Debbie Downer you saw this morning in that first clip is gone and I am back and hopefully tomorrow starts off better. So have a good night. What are you drinking? Question nine. Which band walks slowly Good morning. Oh my goodness, I'm about to have a car accident. Are you looking to get? Oh, thank you. Alrighty, it is currently 10.30. I am <clears throat> just leaving the house. We are taking, I am taking, not we, it is me. I'm taking Olive to my in-laws house for the day. She's going to spend the day there. And I am going on a girl day. I have said to myself that it is time to start making friends and committing to plans and not being a little bitch and okay i'm back i'm parked i've dropped the dog off so what i was trying to say is i am going on a girl date today i am hanging out with lucy who competed at the wbff show so i'm driving about 40 to 45 minutes ish to hers we're gonna go train get coffee i've got all my meals packed so i'm like i'm not in a rush or anything like that and i'm just excited yesterday i didn't vlog at all i pretty much just worked at my casual job and worked at on my laptop in the morning so not really anything exciting to see there but i put up a post this morning on my instagram about like just uh about like kind of like my why i'm competing obviously i didn't go into too much depth because it's instagram people don't really care but like i just need to get past the point of like why am i comparing myself to people who aren't natural why am i comparing myself to people who are pro athletes why am i comparing myself to people who are on the olympia stage why am i comparing myself to people who are not a first timer simply as that they're they're not competing for the first time they've been competing for multiple years on end so it's like i need to realize i need to constantly remind myself that i am not doing this show specifically to become an icm pro the title of ICM Pro is not something that I want or that I've ever thought I've wanted. I wanted to get on the stage and and fall in love with being on the stage again. As a dancer, I lost that love and I lost that confidence and that confidence was taken away from me by multiple people, um, including myself, not just blaming other people, but including myself and external people. So my goal is just to fall in love with the stage again and be on stage, not stand out for the wrong reasons, blend in, if that's all it is, if all I do is blend in and don't stand out for any other reason, to me, that's winning. To me, getting on stage and not standing out for the wrong reason is winning. So I need to just realize I've got six weeks and seven weeks till my shows. Give it all I can the next six weeks, which is what I've been doing for the last like 17. And then just have the best fucking day on the day. And that's all I can do. And that's all I will do. So I'm keen. I mean, a lot can happen in six weeks, so we may we may stand out for the right reasons. And I mean, I'm not going to not try. That's for sure. I'm definitely going to try. But I just need to like 
stop comparing myself to people who are in completely different situations to me. That's all I need to say. That's what I've been trying to say the last two takes where my fucking phone flew off twice and cracked. <laughs> anyway, I need to go because the sooner I get there, the sooner I get a coffee and whew, I need a big, big boy today. Happy Saturday! We are out on our morning walk. Oh my god, she's eating something. Oh well, enjoy, hon. She hasn't had breakfast yet. It is currently 10 o'clock, so we're on a late walk for us, but I have spent the entire morning, like I was up at 7, cleaning my apartment. I unpacked my suitcase from Melbourne, which hadn't been done. I had about five loads of washing that needed to be folded and put away. I did that. So I've been a real housewife this morning. Alex is still at home. He is I'm probably still asleep, let's be real. I um, normally work on Saturdays. So I normally work Thursday p.m. shift and then all day on a Saturday. But I don't know if it's because of the point of prep that I'm getting into now. Any change, like drastic change to my schedule kind of stresses me out. I also woke up and I knew I was going to wake up so fatigued. I didn't get to bed really late last night, like 1.30 in the morning late. So I actually haven't had that much sleep. And yeah, so definitely think it was the right decision not working today. I would have, I would have not been in a good place come the end of today. So I think I now just really need to prioritize preserving my energy for what matters. And I think that's what I did, and I'm kind of proud of myself for that. I'm proud of myself for prioritizing me. Um, I also realized yesterday I sucked at vlogging. I had the best day with Lucy. Like, it was just like, it was the second time, no, the third time we had met. First time I was a passenger on a flight. Second time was at a show, and third time was yesterday. And it feels like we have known each other, I shit you not, for years. <laughs> like, I feel like she and I are like twin flame energy and it was just so nice to have like to know that I have a girlfriend like that here and I think she felt the same way because I think we're going to catch up again next week so super exciting really really nice and then we ended up last night at um, another friend's house just catching up and then we were catching up with them pretty much a few times a week so they're coming over to us tonight but yeah in terms of prep i'm officially six weeks out today and seven weeks out tomorrow from my two shows i have booked all my hair makeup tans for both shows i have scheduled to pick up my bikinis and it's getting real i put up a post yesterday on my instagram i don't know if you could see it and i think i spoke about it too on here about like stop comparing myself and doing it for me and a hundred percent doing it to oh my thing just told me my oh shut up the lady just told me i'm at my third kilometer of this walk <laughs> but yeah so just doing it for me and doing it for like recognition of what i've done and what i've achieved like i like i said in the post i was over 100 kilos i'm nearly half that i'm nearly half the perfect size that i was so it's not about getting on stage and becoming a pro that's not my goal that is not part of my timeline that i think if it happens, fucking incredible. Like I said, I'm not gonna half-ass the rest of my prep because it's not a goal. Yes, I wanna come in competitive, but I just wanna come in right. And I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this walk because this talk has gone on a little longer than I expected. I just kinda wanted to come and say happy Saturday. Also, sorry for being a shit, oh, a shit vlogger yesterday. <laughs> something today and we are have had 
a very successful shopping day and we officially <laughs> are in a family car. We have we're in the process. We're in the process of owning a family car, which is super fucking exciting. I am going to have a mum car. And I have another few months with my little baby BM. And then I'm having a mum car, a full blown fucking mum car. I'm a little like shook, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm shook. And Alex bought me a gift today. We did a lot of shopping today and he bought me a surprise gift and then took me to get a mum car. Oh my God. I'm really excited though, it's a beautiful car. We're not gonna say anything about that exact car, blah, 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 until we get it. But, wow. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. Like, I just blew a lot of money, but uh, it is what it is. I'll say, this is like our first real, like, I said, I didn't even have to ask for permission. Mm. Being an adult is crazy. Like, my husband decides, and I'm like, yeah, baby. <laughs> like, what? Like, it's crazy. Like, my best friend and I, being us, get to decide what the fuck we do with our life. This shit blows my mind. You swear too much. People I swear will make so about much. It. I Stop swear your so potty much. mouth. My body. Right. Yeah. But, it's not swearing. Okay, I'm gonna try and work on it, but I am actually mind blown. The decision to not work today was 100% the right decision. 100%. I also randomly bought Alex this Nutella croissant that I found in the petrol station because I wanted it and he's gonna try it when we get home, so I will record him trying that. It was freaking $6, so it better be good, but we bought a car. We bought a car.